It's 9 o'clock in the evening Universal Time, and it's 1.30 in the morning Tehran Time, because the clocks have changed here in Iran. You're watching Press TV's International News. I'm Afshin Ritansi. And I'm Mehdad Yazdani. Very warm welcome to the program. Leader of Iran's Islamic Revolution says the world of Islam should unite against its enemies. Ayatollah Said Ali Khamenei said that global arrogance led by the United States and Israeli Zionists is trying to divide Muslims and that the United States and Israel are against both Shias and Sunnis who stand up against their bullying policies. Ayatollah Khamenei said that those who promote discrimination are against Islam's message of justice and are encouraging their nations to insult Islam's prophet Muhammad. Iran's leader maintained that insults to Islam are a sign of the enemy's weakness and fear because Islam has found its way into hearts in, of many nations across the globe. Ayatollah Khamenei said that the Middle East has become the scene of many U.S. failures and that regional countries and other nations throughout the world see Iran as a model of resistance against Western pressure. Over the years, the enemies have done all they can to undermine Iran's Islamic system and prevent it from becoming powerful. But Iran has won a reputation in many parts of the world as a symbol of resistance and a nation loyal to its principles and values. Well, Serbia's Prime Minister has criticized a decision by U.S. President George W. Bush to authorize the supply of weapons to Kosovo. Vojislav Kostunica called the U.S. decision another deeply wrong move concerning Kosovo, but the White House argues that the military assistance would strengthen the security of the United States and promote world peace. In the Kosovan city of Gracanica, thousands of ethnic Serbs have taken to the streets protesting against Kosovo's independence. Many were carrying Serbian flags and placards reading, Kosovo is Serbia. In related news, Bulgaria has officially recognized Kosovo as an independent country and says it will establish an embassy in Pristina.